Johnny Shreve here from Blue Star Nutraceutical. You ever get to those points where you're stressed for time and it's chest day and you really want to get it done? Well, that's what we're doing today. I'm going to put together today an intense 25 minute chest, back and abs workout. So we have eight exercises, two sets each. Remember, each set's going to be no more than 40 seconds and we're going to rest no longer than a minute. We want to keep the intensity high because we only have a lot of time to get this workout done. So if you're ready, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and let's get started. Okay, so first off, we're doing incline dumbbell press. Remember guys, all of these workouts, exercise are gonna be 40 seconds each with no longer than a minute rest in between sets. So let's get it started. Keep yourself back in position first. So, again guys, no longer than a minute. We have some time to get your heart rate down, so maybe we'll take deep breaths in. You know, while we prepare for the next movement, which is gonna be cable incline flies. Just like the dumbbell press, you wanna keep yourself pressed into the ground. Pretend you're almost like, envision yourself, push yourself into the ground not just moving the weight off your chest. Cause a lot of times we think moving the weight off our chest, we end up kind of doing this kind of thing, rolling our back. You want to be forceful and powerful, push yourself into the ground. It'll be the same way when we're doing incline flies as well too. So, remember find a weight that is challenging. Press up, from here, pulling out. And again, envision myself Pushing in to the ground. As I keep my back on the bench, my core tight, and my chest activated the entire time. Good breathing. Keep your head in the back of the bench. One more rip. Here. So. Right from here, we're gonna move into close grip dumbbell press. Now you can do it in a Smith machine with a bar and making sure when we're doing this that we're shoulder width apart, not like this. But to make things a little more easier, especially having a lot of time, make sure you get the equipment you need around you so you can go right into the next movement without wasting time looking for what you're doing. So make sure you kind of like plot everything out so we don't miss an opportunity to train and get the best we can in with a lot of time you have. Again. Try to use your time wisely with good time management so you can give yourself more than under 20 minutes to work out. But if you're in a pinch, then we put this workout together for you to get a good sweat. Pressing back. Pressing in. We're gonna push the bar, push the weight together, and press up. We wanna make sure these dumbbells stay parallel so we don't want the back of the dumbbell to come down like this, we want to be parallel when pressing. Now again, I have it on a little incline. That's my preference. But you could do these flat as well too. Elbows in. Control the rep down. And one more rep. down slow. Come up. That's it. Now, next up we're gonna do back. We're gonna move on to our back movements and we're gonna do pull-ups. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go assisted. I'm gonna get a band, give yourself some help. Cause again, we're doing the top range of the time, right? So, 30 seconds to 45 seconds is your typical time for, you know, muscle hypertrophy. We're talking about sacroplasma hypertrophy. Creating a lot of volume to be able to expand the muscles. So 
If you can't do pull-ups, then we can use the bands here to help us. Gives a little bit of help, which I'm gonna do. Again, we're gonna be here for 40 seconds. When you're doing this, make sure we're reading our chest to the bar. We don't want to try and pull our chin up. This is going to roll our shoulders forward and we don't want that. And one more. And that's that. So, again, a couple cues. Make sure we're pulling our chest to the bar. We want to keep a nice flat back. You want to try and do chin-ups. A lot of times you hear chin-ups and that's a bad cue because we end up doing this kind of thing that our shoulders roll forward. We want to keep that all in our teres major minor or in simple terms, our lats, this part of our back. Now from here, we're going to move on. One arm dumbbell rows. We're going to lean on the bench or the rack for stability. Again, when we're doing these, I want to be in a position where I'm in a hinged position much like doing a Romanian deadlift. So from here, we're gonna do 40 seconds each arm. Sit back, from here, up. Keep our shoulders nice and square. I wanna really cue the elbow pushing and pulling back. I wanna think about my elbow, I'm trying to go to the back of the room and pulling back, retracting. And done, switch sides. Now, if you have more time, I'm gonna say rest a little longer in between each arm when you're doing unilateral movements because you still wanna have enough energy and breath to be able to do the actual set on the other side. So here, we don't have that much time. So you're gonna have to dive into it and just dig deep. Now, as you can see from the opposite side, my arms are basically parallel where my chest is. It's a nice position where my arm is like this, pulling down here. So I'm keeping it from here, pulling up. We want to make sure our core, our core is engaged this entire time. Lowering the glutes and the hamstrings for leverage. Pulling those elbows back. There you go. Okay, from here, I'm gonna rest in about a minute. Again, we're gonna move on to seated cable rows. Okay, so again, we got about a minute rest. I'm getting that time now. We're gonna go into seated rows. We have 40 seconds. Pick a weight that you can do, that you can control, that's challenging. 40 second reps. Let's get it started. Listen to the cues. So, pulling from here, keep your elbows pulling back and pushing down the entire time and chest up. It's gonna be time to see a row look like this. You wanna hit our back, our lat, so push down on the handles and pull your elbows down as well too. And keep your chest up. Now if you look at me, if you put me in a, almost like a verbal position or only slot me upside down, I look like I was doing a bent over row. That's how you should look doing this. It's virtually the same thing, only I'm in a horizontal position. And more. There you go. 40 seconds down. Remember, catch your breath, deep breaths in. Try to calm yourself down for the next couple of exercises because after this, we got core. Let's go to core. Okay, now we got a minute rest. I'm gonna go into our core portion. Again, I always, I always wanna incorporate 
some core, not for aesthetics, but for performance base. Our core is the center of our strength. So we wanna make sure that this is engaged the entire time we work out. So we're gonna add in some workouts here, some exercises. First we're gonna do leg lifts. Now if I want a little bit of leverage, I can hold on to this here and then start. And to make this a core movement, I need to get my hips off the ground. If I simply just do this, I'm just working my hip flexors and I want that. I'm gonna work the core. You can hear me breathing on each contraction. And there you go. All right, another minute rest. And last but not least, we're gonna do just some basic crunches. Now we're gonna make it pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna keep ourselves on the ground. We're gonna keep our feet like this, tucked in as much as we can. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our hands to our ankles. And I want you to wrench your neck up like this. We're not doing neck abs, we're doing core abs, right? So from here, hands on the ground, and then let's go. Make sure we're breathing out with each contraction. And try to emphasize the peak contraction by holding it. Remember, we only have a lot of time with these, with these sets, so don't just try and speed through and do this. I wanna make every rep count. It's quality of reps, not quantity of weight. So when you're doing this, we wanna make sure we emphasize our form, our technique, our breathing, everything to make sure each one of these reps and the full sets are all quality. And one more. Yeah, and that is it. That's your full workout. Again, if you have time, make sure you use it wisely. And I would do maybe three full rounds of this. Again, if you don't have time and you're stuck and you're in a pinch, then go through this. Make sure you're really emphasizing your peak contractions. Make sure you're resting the right amount of time because again, if you don't have that much time, you don't got time to waste. So make sure you get your eye on that clock, on your watch, whatever it is. Stay focused, stay driven, and work your butt off. How was that workout? Well, let us know in the comment below. And remember, we put out new workouts every week. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.